Welcome to SAP UI5 video tutorials. So in this session, we will have a look at responsive table. So generally, SAP.m.table is not responsive, but all the other controls that uh, SAP.m are responsive in both desktop and mobile. But here we have to explicitly make the SAP.m.table responsive. So here we will just use these two functionalities that, that is demand pop-in and maximum width. Using those two properties, we will make our table responsive. And with the help of this practical demonstration, I will just explain it to you. Here we will see how to make a table responsive. So the control that we will be using here is sap.m.table. And within this table, we will be using a template which will be column list item. So let me just show you the column list item template here. Let me just type it here. So here it is. So it has the samples, properties and aggregation and all. I will just show you the sample. So this is the table. So in our pro uh, video here I will be creating a new project and I will be binding a table here which will be JSON model here and then I will apply responsiveness to the table. So first step would be to create a new project. So go to file then go to new and then go to project from template. Now select a SAP UI5 application and go to next. Now add a project name here. I will add, add it as demo table. And the namespace would be same. Go to next, next and finish. Now I have this a particular project named as demo table. Here I will define, first I will define the JSON model which I will just put it under model folder. I will just create a JSON file here. Right click on this. Go to new then to file. I will name it as table.json. Fine. So I will be creating a data here. I already have it. I will just copy it from here. So this is the data that I have already created. So I will just paste it here. There are no errors. I will just save it. So table is the key here and the, all these are the data here. So this is for a particular row and this is for another row. So here I have created five rows. So all these three data are same. I have just changed a little bit here in these two data. So I have I will just save this now. Whenever I have created a JSON model, now I have to define it in the manifest.json file. So within the manifest.json file, I will just mention this model. So here it is the models and here is the i18. I will just provide a co comma here. This is the code that I have to write. So this is the ID here that I have given as model based on this ID. I will be binding my JSON model and this is the path here. So this table.json file is within this model. So we have given the path here. I will just save this and it's done. So now two steps are over. Now what we have to do? We have to mention our table in the view. So this is our view here. And within this content tag, I have to mention our table. I will just copy it from here. This is the code snippet. I will just explain it to you once I am I have done pasting it I have copied it now and control V let me just beautify it so this provides an indentation to our program to our code so it so now we could see here this is the table control and I have given the ID as random ID something simple and 
I have given this inset as true. So let me just make it false here. I will just show you what's the difference between inset false and true. So it is false now. By default the value of inset is false itself. If I just remove inset from here, so it will take false itself. Fine. Now in the columns tag I have defined the column and all these things I will just explain it to you after when we see the output. So let me just copy here, uh, save this file and now I will just run this file. So no data would be populated since I haven't binded the table here neither I have given any template of such. So you could see here the table headers are already populated so date, document type, document description, document number all these are coming hard coded from here. So I have provided this text here within this column. You could see date, document type all is written here all, already. So now you could see this is the table mind this gap here there is no gap here this is because we have set the insert as false so let me just make it as true so you will get it what I meant so we have set it as, as true now if I just refresh it there would be a gap between here so it would look nice so this is a particular feature of the responsiveness of the table. So that is done. Now what we will do, we will populate the data from the JSON file. For that we have to code in the controller. So here we will code in the on, on init function. So I have pasted the code here and now I will just explain it to you. So this is the table here that we are getting and we have got a reference of the table that we have defined in the view with the help of this particular ID. Let me just show you this is the ID here also. So that's done and now we are binding the table. So the path is this model greater than and then table. So this va particular value is the key value that we have defined in the manifest.json file. Sorry, in the table.json. So this is the key file, key value here. So this should be correct and model is the ID that we have provided in the manifest.json. So this is the model. Fine. And we, and the in the template we are using column list item. As I have already told you in the X SAP UI5 explode column list item. And within this, let me just show you. We have this aggregation known as cells here. So I have used as cells and within this aggregation, we could use n number of controls. So I have used this text multiple times. It depends on the how much text we are using here in the view. Let me just show you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight fields should be there in the controller. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fine. So now let me just show you the table.json file. So the first is the date, then the doc type, then the doc description. So here also I have binded sim accordingly. First is the date, then doc type, then doc description, then doc number, debit amount, credit amount, balance and text. So everything is synced here. Everything is the same. It should be following a particular pattern both in the JSON file. It doesn't matter the table or JSON file should be particularly ordered but in the view and the controller it should be ordered in the same way. So let me just save this and run the application again. So this time the table uh, data would be populated. So here it is. 
so table data is already populated here everything is coming in a good form let me just show you the mobile output here let me just refresh it so here you could see here the document description balance everything is co coming in a good form so this we could say this is a responsive table since nothing is overlapping anything every data we could see comfortably so everything is populated in a right manner so this is a responsive table I will just explain it to you how we made it happen so there are mainly two properties which by which we could make a table responsive the, and those are minimum screen width and demand pop-in so let me just show you here and this is the last text that we are using so suppose we are mentioning here the minimum screen width as tablet so the output here we are getting is here in the phone format so let me just show you so let me just choose the iPhone 6 here okay so this is a phone, phone format here so this is not a tablet but here we have provided this minimum screen width as tablet so if we see in the phone but this particular field won't be appearing so this particular field would be hidden so there is no text field here right in the view we have mentioned the text as text here so there is balance there is credit amount but no text is appearing here there is balance there is credit amount the no text is appearing here so this property does this if I but if I just run it on iPad or some tablet form those that text but but field would appear again so you could see here this text field is appearing in the tablet and it is because we have put the minimum screen width as tablet here so I hope you have understood what this minimum screen width does so if I just put it as desktop desktop so what should happen this text field shouldn't be appearing both in the phone format and both in and in the tablet format it also it should only appear in the desktop so if I just refresh it that field shouldn't be appearing in the phone neither in the tablet so in the phone format it is working fine and if I just choose iPad here that text field shouldn't be appearing there see so no text field is appearing if I just cross this and go to my desktop version the text field should be appearing here it is so everything is working fine so as I told you so this is the work of minimum screen width so, so this brings in responsiveness to the table so the second feature that I was talking about is demand pop-in equals to true so we will just talk about talk about it so this demand pop-in what it does it is dependent on this minimum screen width here so if I just put it as phone here and if I just write this demand pop-in is true in front of this so what it will do it will pop in that particular field here above and mo not make it hide hidden so let me just show you what it meant I will just save this and I will just again run this we will just go to inspect element and select this let me just refresh it again so you could see here the text here is coming in the pop-in here here it is so text here is coming in the pop-in otherwise it would have been hidden since we have made it true it is coming in the pop-in 
so basically this demand pop-in is basically de dependent on this minimum screen width if I had just written here tablet itself let me just show you let's see what happens now I have saved this let me just choose iPad here and I will just refresh it so in the tablet it would won't affect much I suppose and here the um, text field will be appearing here itself so it won't up, up, uh, affect mo more in the tablet field so I hope this responsiveness feature is clear to you so that's it for this video thanks for watching